Hi, this is Jack's Cowboy Show from the UP of Michigan. Uh, just got through the 4th of July and now I'm ready to talk some cowboys. And here's my cowboy's cup. Uh, got my some of my stuff that I got from Dallas, a helmet. These I got for Christmas. Demarcus Ware. Antonio Romo. Bobblehead. Bobblehead. So I think I'm gonna do vlogs every two weeks until the preseason starts. And today I was on the website and I watched Roy Williams um, mic'd up. Looks like he's going to be influential this season. He's going to be, he um, encouraged uh, Ratliff to get in one more sack on that uh, play against Washington. We also had uh, Jerry Jones on there. Um, yeah, they were transplanting trees for the stadium. Fully grown trees being transplanted to the stadium. And um, they had like workers, construction workers that were shoveling. I think they were shoveling fast because Jerry Jones was standing right in front of them. <laughs> so, the new stadium, he said the new stadium tours will be. Um, starting this week so and they're going to be lasting all year um, the official word is training camp starts July 28th to the and it goes right to the preseason when they'll be playing um, uh, the, the starting game the first game is with Oakland on August 13th at um, on CBS that's um, I think that's uh, Thursday night Thursday night at 9 and I'll be kind of uh, facing the old the player that left the team um, Ellis who is with the Oakland Raiders now um, I've got I got to order CBS on my dish now because three of the games of the preseason are going to be on CBS national, not national but local channels. The first game uh, of the preseason is Oakland, um, as I said before, and that's in Oakland. And. The next one is Friday, August 21st, um, Tennessee, the first game at the new stadium. And that will be at 7 o'clock on a Friday night. And that's August 21st. Then on Saturday, August 29th, another game at home against San Francisco. And uh, that'll be August 29th. That one's nationally shown nationally on a Saturday night on Fox. So then it's Friday, September 4th at Minnesota at 7 o'clock. And that leads up to the opening at Tampa Bay on Fox at noon. On the website, they have. Uh, they're running down through the who they believe the sportscasters from like Brad Sham and Mickey Spagnola and Nick Eaton. They all um, rated the top 50 Cowboys for the 50th anniversary season. Um, and uh, today on the website, Darren Woodson was elected number 16. His his ranking was number ten, which sounds a little bit better because he's the all-time lead, leading tackler for the Cowboys. 
and I remember that he was very reliable and never missed too many games and um, I think he deserves a high ranking. They also had Don Meredith on there at number 17. He's the classic cowboy that probably would have been higher if if he would have won Green Bay and, then, and made it to the Super Bowl and won them two Super Bowls. In that case, we would be looking at a Landry's Trophy for the Super Bowl instead of the Lombardi's Trophy. And um, like I said, he was selected number 17. That was Don Meredith. He was a very very tough guy. T took a lot of hits and playing through the injuries he did and was most recognized for his time with Howard Cassell on Monday Night Football in the 70s. That's um, in my Dallas Cowboys uh, book that I have. He was on a plane once and the plane was looked like it was going down and uh, Don Meredith with his bravery type of uh, attitude he he acted as he as he said well it's all it's all been good hasn't it so it shows what kind of bravery he had um, but the top they're gonna run through the top 50 cowboys and I think the top number one cowboy should be Troy Aikman and Roger Staubach, of course. On the on the TV on NFL Network, they had the top ten cowboys, and they elected Tom Landry as the number one uh, cowboy, and that kind of surprised me. I thought it'd be Roger Staubach. I didn't think they would elect to have to put coaches or owners in there as ranking in the listings of Cowboys, but I guess when you have someone like Tom Landry, then he's number one. Um, but I kind of hope that with sportscasters that they elect either Roger Staubach or Troy Aikman. Um, my favorite Cowboy has always been Randy White. Um, but now I've, I've always been a defensive fan myself. I lo love seeing the sacks, and especially when DeMarcus Ware got, got to Eli Manning last year and dumped him down after a, 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 a Giants fan was provoking him at a, at a radio broadcast, um, saying that, uh, do you stand a chance, do you stand a chance, and the next day he his first play he got a sack so that's pretty good with that I'll close uh, I'll, like I say I'll, up till the season I'm trying to broadcast every two weeks then when the preseason comes I'll get in at least once a week if not twice a week when with news from the Cowboys that I hear up north here and um, go Cowboys 2009 and into 2010, hopefully get another Super Bowl. Yes.